Welcome to the art project. I have a small collection of FW acrylic ink and I love this stuff but I have never really tested it out and charted what it can do so I'm gonna do this in this short video just kinda of for posterity's sake um, make a color chart so essentially what I did was I laid out a grid that is 17 16 or 17 colors wide and 16 or 7 colors tall and I did it next to this picture that I had drawn on this page already didn't want to waste any paper and then I just started um, with the middle everywhere the same color overlapped which pretty much makes a zigzag I'm not a zigzag I'm sorry a diagonal down the middle uh, I filled it in some of the colors are pearlescent and so they're really shiny underneath the uh, light they're real pretty some of the colors are not pearlescent and uh, in the end you'll kind of see how it all comes together um, I made sure that I had all of my colors right they're in the same order starting with white from left to right and then from top to bottom this whole process actually took me all day long it seems like uh, maybe not all day but I got up around five and uh, I didn't start on it right away I bet I started on it about nine and I went from nine o'clock until four o'clock I think with a couple of breaks in between so anyway it did take a long time very time consuming uh, every time that I mixed a color I did it very uh, precisely and tried to uh, uh, you know paint inside the lines the best I could um, every square is only one coat of color so you can see how transparent or opaque it is and I just think this is a really good uh, process to learn the colors that are available uh, all of the colors eventually that you'll see here are the same on the uh, bottom left of the diagonal as they are on the top right of the diagonal so um, but these are just the pure colors down the middle and I'll show you a close-up of it at the end of the video so this is a pretty time-consuming you know opening up a bottle um, painting a square open up another bottle paint a square and all of that and then, like I said I uh, try to be real precise with it every color that I mix up hereafter is a 50 50 mixture and I'll show you how I did that right now basically I took one uh, drop uh, used a dropper and I did a drop of white or whatever my first color was and then another drop of the second color and I'm not sure that you can see that in the video but that's what I did and then I mixed them up so it was, it was always one drop of one color and one drop of another color and then I started painting them in every time I painted one in I actually painted two in every time I mixed up a color I painted two so uh, what you see on the left bottom is the same as what's on the top right I did come across some color mixtures that I thought were pretty interesting and uh, colors that I'd probably like to use later on and one of the great things about having this color chart is I can look at it and I can pick colors from it you know I can say oh I really like this color and I think this color would go good in this particular place here's how I made it uh, unfortunately there's not enough room here for like variations and so uh, I don't know what would happen with uh, tints or tones or shades of it but that's what it turns out looking like now let me show you what it looks like up close of course uh, the pure colors actually go down the center not the edges so uh, don't um, don't look at the edges here uh, as the pure color but um, 
these are the colors that I used and you can tell by the shimmer I need to mark them some way but you can tell by the shimmer which ones are pearlescent and which ones aren't uh, the black that I have I don't have a regular black my black is pearlescent and so all of the all of the colors mixed with black are now pearlescent I think it turned out to be pretty good like I said it gave me some ideas for colors to use in other uh, projects or paintings uh, it kind of let me know what my um, what I have available to me in terms of colors and uh, just lots of ideas anyway thanks for watching oh, uh, I wanted to zoom in here on the gold so you can see all the different varieties of gold that gold right there is um, the pure one but as you go down you can see different types of gold and then across the bottom you can see different types of black Anyway, that was it. I hope you liked it. Give me a thumbs up. Not the most exciting video ever, but uh, hopefully useful. Uh, Y'all have a great day. It's your turn to go make some art or uh, color chart.